This is a CBS News Detroit update. Good morning, I'm Chris Ledeen. Here's a look at your top headlines on this Thursday, February 22nd. A new report says the state needs to put a lot more money into fixing its county roads. The County Road Association says when you add up all the needs for repairing and maintaining county run bridges and roadways, there's a $2.4 billion shortage. The report does not provide a solution of where to get the money, although the County Road Association says there needs to be a quote state solution. An Oakland County judge is still deciding if she'll allow for a change of venue in the James Crumbly involuntary manslaughter trial. Crumbly is the father of the Oxford High School shooter. His attorneys have requested to move the trial out of Oakland County. They don't believe Crumbly will get a fair trial because of the publicity the case has generated. The judge is also weighing a decision on whether or not to allow two former students to testify. On your block in Trenton, after nearly 100 years of service, Trenton Channel Power Plant will be demolished next Friday. The plant is being torn down to make way for new development opportunities. The demolition itself should last less than one minute. During this time, neighbors may hear a short series of loud noises similar to thunder. A virtual meeting will be held tonight to answer any questions about the demolition process. Ford's largest and most profitable truck plant appears to have avoided a strike. The UAW says workers at their Louisville, Kentucky plant reached a tentative agreement with Ford on some local issues. The deal centers around better health and safety standards. The strike deadline was midnight Friday. The FDA has a warning about the risk of smart watches. If you're using them to measure your blood sugar, the watches measure levels without piercing the skin. The FDA says it has not authorized the devices to measure these levels. They say it can also lead to inaccurate measurements and errors in diabetes management. They did not name specific brands, but said the sellers advertise using non-invasive techniques. Time now for a look at that next weather forecast with Kylie Miller. Good Thursday morning. Kylie. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, everyone. We are starting today, especially south of the city, with some rain. So for the rest of this morning, the early afternoon, make sure you have the rain gear with you. Temperatures today are very mild. We are starting off temperature wise for most of us in the 40s. Our northern zones were in the 30s, so it's a little bit cooler there. You still need those jackets. By the afternoon, temperatures will climb to highs near 50 degrees, and it is going to be breezy at times for today. But we are going to be seeing some improvement. We're going to be drying out as we approach dinner time and then onward we're going to be holding on to a mostly cloudy sky condition as temperatures tonight scaled back into the 30s for lows. So as you can see from our next other future cast, the rain is favoring Lenaway and Monroe counties closer to the lakeshore as well, pushing into Windsor, Canada. But as we continue to go through the afternoon period, again, scattered rain showers favoring anywhere south of I-96. This system, though, is going to be tapering off as we approach dinner. And then after that, we're going to be holding on to a mostly cloudy sky condition. Now looking ahead at temperatures, it is going to be colder for tomorrow, but drastically colder by Saturday. Saturday, it's also going to be breezy, too. So it's actually going to feel like we're in the teens, if not the 20s for those wind chill values. It's really going to be cold on Saturday. Looking at a high of 50 degrees, though, on Sunday. So it's going to be a short lived cool down. We're going to be back into those 50s Monday and then check out Tuesday, a high of 60 degrees, closing in on record breaking territory. So we're going to keep a close eye on that. And then our Wednesday, 56. But Tuesday and Wednesday, we are going to, are going to be monitoring a few more showers. Now showers are in the forecast for today, fairly light and again, favoring our southern zones. Chris. Thanks, Kylie. That's a look at your headlines. We'll be back later covering stories that matter to you on air and streaming on the CBS News app and Pluto TV.